welcome back in this video I'm gonna review the app secure antivirus um, I'm surprised uh, first how to launch it I already installed it so all I have to do is just security suite it uh, it's given to by spectrum if part of uh, um, your subscription so if you have their internet you get this for free uh, if you don't know how to get it um, I'm going to show you in the end, end of the video all you have to do is just go to spectrum.net and log into your account <clears throat> so I'm actually surprised how um, like um, fast or lightweight this antiviruses have become uh, my first antivirus was um, Norton way back and that uh, slowed down my computer to a crawling speed and I had to uninstall it after a few days I was like oh, no it's not worth it and that was a Pentium 2 computer so when I got Pentium 4 I installed it <clears throat> again but this time uh, I knew what to expect so it, it did the same thing and it was gone within the next hour then I found McAfee I always liked McAfee and I ran McAfee for a very very long time I was <clears throat> then when I later on I was no not studying and all that I was not very concerned so did not install any antivirus when I had the other machine uh, that was a Pentium D and I ran that for <clears throat> maybe like two three years uh, so that machine uh, I didn't bother and um, thankfully nothing happened I even if like I had some um, like viruses or you know anything I could fix it and I, I, I knew how to do that so yes it like a few times I had to uh, run scans get rid of this like they were they were malwares or whatever residing on my computer you know but it was nothing serious nothing big happened um, that was stupid though so I'm not saying that you should do the same but it was just like my hate for the um, like how sluggish they make your computer especially Norton nothing against Norton <laughs> it's just like my personal experience was bad and I liked McAfee better uh, recently when I saw these like at work and this uh, and then when I did that other video about that uh, semantic and point protection by the way semantic is uh, Norton the parent company so I was surprised like how lightweight it is and I was thinking that because at work it's all thin computers so that's what it is like thin clients uh, not thin computers thin client actually it's like everything uh, we just need a web browser to uh, run all our tools and then but they are core i5 so pretty good computers there so but I just installed this one and I'm actually uh, surprised how lightweight it was it was installed within like five minutes as soon as the uh, sorry five to ten seconds as soon as I ran the installer it downloaded latest files and it gave me the screen so let's find out what it is enough babbling right so as soon as it was like um, it came it's showing me that it's scanning these files like this number keeps going up and up and up and going back that saying last seven days but I just installed it you see uh, data available since 19 and today is 19 so I did see about the parental control to set devices use limit and block monitored content for this windows account I uh, turn our parental control so you have some option like content blocking search website so oh, okay this is like trying to yes it's a virtual machine inside you can see I'm running so it's just warning it that you can change that if you can bypass the protection or not or do it for other accounts but the, uh, I know that I used to use a uh, zone alarm and I use its uh, uh, settings back when I had that Pentium D computer so basically that's why I never bother with the antivirus because I had zone alarm installed on it and it had a kind of its own antivirus protection then came Windows uh, 1 if you remember or not Windows 1 was an antivirus from Microsoft and then they scrapped it and <laughs> that is funny time limit reach so I don't know sixty seconds oh okay that's not probably because of this 
so this is the parental setting if you saw the spectrum logo right there it was about it so windows one was microsoft first antivirus and i was a beta tester of that then uh microsoft turned it to windows defender and now windows defender in, in itself is a pretty good antivirus catches most of the thing if not all so <clears throat> since i had zone alarm and then windows on and windows um like defender that's why i never uh, installed a proper antivirus from uh, mcafee next i think uh, 119 minutes of daily limit remaining. I need to turn it off. Please, from do you want to set a protection for someone else? Read more. How do I turn it off? <laughs> okay, I have to actually go. I will do it later. Or should I show you? Like, where are the parental controls? So one drive that I need to search that and then I will do it. I thought it will be off right here. Next is tools. Probably in tools I will find something. Allowed and denied websites, my favorite. I used to do that with uh, if you don't remember there was a Windows family settings that came with windows defender and all that that whole suite was there under windows live.com and blah 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 so <clears throat> i used to do this which uh, sometimes just to mess up with my uh, siblings and uh, my cousins uh, we were all using this one computer so i'll just deny <laughs> access to a website uh, uh, app and file control this is like what apps and files can be run on this so well, the, you can add new so this is a good thing i like the ransomware is when they hijack your folder you cannot uh, do anything unless there's this number you call them pay them and then they release your computers very getting out of control in the world change scan setting full computer scan and virus scan this is what how you do check for updates it is up to date but you click it it will go and check the us ah, look at that security privacy secure browsing do i have anything for the nope i don't i thought that i could you know from these settings i could turn off that parental control so ransomware protection is on and all that and windows firewall setting probably it's in there domain private guest ah defender so i already have defender on and they're gonna be fighting big time so i need to uninstall it soon windows defender firewall settings and turn off all security feature let's do that yeah yeah, including the parental control antivirus is turned off turn on security suite or turn on so if I turn on let's find out if that will kick back in or not all right so parental control hopefully ah they are still on and it's giving me this message that we can change these from settings what are, right there parental control setting block web control selected this is good i actually use another site <clears throat> if you if you're concerned about your children's safety online i use uh, open dns so open dns has the like uh, it's you use their dns so you set your controller over there add these settings to your router so that's way you every device that connects from your home is protected I like to think that I did that on the router I'm pretty sure but you have to run a, a program from your desktop as well so that sends the 
device use limit that's it allow and block <laughs> so I can use it to max so everything is allowed no limits have been set good that's what I wanted since uh, <coughs> I did that so I didn't no longer need that window all right so if I s there's a setting button right there that I needed and could not see and let's go and do the virus scanning and see how it scans so this is a scanner like a Pi A it's doing pretty fast actually <coughs> so so it's doing a quick scan because if you do the full system scan that takes that can actually take up to an hour or maybe more so for this pretty fast I just want to see what kind of results it gives me and then we'll wrap this video up but I'm glad it's pretty lightweight like if I can show you actually um, see so it loads pretty good it's not like painfully slow or slowing down your computer so I have two windows open because I clicked that twice no harmful items found close but it's still running in the background so you pro if you open a file let's see uh, let me try to open a file somewhere if I have somewhere so 11.29 is the one <coughs> let's uh, go documents and try to run this okay and or assessment result nothing in there as well sound recordings nothing Common. so let's run this and see what happens here see <clears throat> file checked by real-time scanner 11 uh, yeah that this was the one it was 11 something and it's uh, it's going up and up so you can keep working and this will go up uh, so it's running in real time scans every file that you open before it actually gets open so this is it about the open secure you have help support and about page here that was sport is actually setting as well and this is the version and all that information let's wrap this video up if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and i see you in the next one